up YouTube, Topaz J's back for another mixtape review and this one is to that Le'Veon Bell, the interview and yes, this is the Pittsburgh still a running back Le'Veon Bell who decided to drop a mixtape in which he usually goes by the name Juice whenever he's doing music but for obvious reasons he's using his actual name in order to continue to promote himself and such because Le'Veon Bell, that name rings out more than Juice. And to be quite honest with you man, there has never been a time like today where a athlete, an active athlete rapper could actually find success in the music industry, you did? But right now, I can see it. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if Le'Veon Bell actually got some success from this shit, you did? Because once the game started moving away from lyricism and even moving away from pronunciating fucking words, therefore, anybody who has a rap dream can actually make it fucking happen. To be honest with you, I can only remember one athlete who was active and could actually rap at the same damn time. And I come across a lot of fucking athletes that tried to rap from Deion Sanders to Shaq to Kobe Bryant to now Man of World Peace. And there's a ton of motherfucking dudes who want to try to rap but never could fucking do it. The only one that was solid enough was Allen Iverson. Quite honestly, he was too good to the point that the NBA squashed his fucking potential career because you can't rap about what rappers rap about and all of that, man, and still get the endorsement deals that athletes get. It just doesn't fucking happen. So they squashed his career in order for him to get that money in other realms. Because Le'Veon Bell, much like all of these other athlete rappers and such, he has to edit himself. He can't rap about the same things that everybody else is rapping about. Like, take that song, Balls, in which that that kind of shows you the direction in which Le'Veon Bell is trying to go with his career because that just comes off as blatant future ripoff type shit. You can tell how deeply influenced he is by future and this new age of hip hop music and such that's going on instead of actually creating something of his own accord. But yet on tracks like this, trap rappers usually go all the way in on the lifestyle of the trap drug scene and all of that shit. But yet. That's not something that Le'Veon Bell can fucking do. And nor does he have the punchlines to kind of validate such a song, man. He's kind of in like a middle ground where it's just not any substance at all. Then you look at a song like First Flight where he got rappers on there talking about their first time flying out of the hood, flying out of the struggle, and all of the bullshit that the hood then came with. Okay, that's cool, but what did Le'Veon Bell rap about? He rapped about his first flight to the damn combine. Like, I understand that, you know, athletes and such, when they're in college, they be struggling hard than the motherfucker. You can't deny that struggle and the fact that once you fly to the combine, you see the promise of a new life and all of that, man. But he was an elite athlete being invited to the combine and such, so that's not really the same kind of struggle that these other dudes was rapping about. But he does have some rather catchy songs and such on there, like that Jackie Chan, where he's pretty much rapping about how all of these chicks want to kick it with him like Jackie Chan does kicks and everything. But yet, as that professional athlete, he can't come out and say that he's banging all of these chicks or anything like that. It's more of they want to hang around him and he's not about that, he's about that grind. Quite honestly, my favorite track off of this was that Never Better, which was like near the end of this joint where he's just rapping about the good life that he's living. And here's the thing about this project. I think it definitely holds some potential for a commercial success but ultimately, the whole sanctioning, the whole fact that he has to edit himself, that's the thing that's going to cripple him in a rap career. Because that's just one thing that hip-hop just cannot allow, but yet that's something that the NFL forces upon you. Overall, I give this project, man, a 4 out of 10. It's not absolutely terrible like a lot of projects we hear from the commercial industry, so therefore he can have a potential in it, but ultimately, I don't think it's going to work out. But this concludes today's review, man, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from under ground producer the highest power before we jump into the news and jump into an article from downloadpass.com previews for that In The Malice that's supposed to be dropping on March the 27th on the Revolt, where it's Malice formerly of the clips is going through breaking down everything like from why they broke up as a group and how he went from where he was at then to where he's at now, it seems very fucking interesting. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article is about how the streets is always fucking talking, you dig? 
because here's the thing that a lot of dudes don't realize is that if you just go out and just bang whoever you can at any time and you just get some ratchet ass chicks, get you some ugly chicks and all of that, man, all of that comes back. If you think these chicks ain't talking about that shit, man, you're a fucking fool, you dead. And by being one of these weak dudes that's chasing after any kind of ass that you can get, you end up costing yourself better women and shit, like, because the top-notch dying women, they don't want to deal with a dude who's just dealing with a whole bunch of these ratchet-ass hoes and shit. You're really throwing salt on your game thinking that everybody's gonna keep quiet about the things that you're doing, man. The truth always tends to be uncovered. So overall, just never settle on your name because everybody is going to talk and everything from the people that you have sex with to the people that you deal with, all of that's going to be held against you eventually. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article. 